Hey everyone, today's practice is called side body sweetness. So there is this word in Sanskrit, it's sat kara, that comes from the sutras, and it means devotion, reverence, um, and sweetness, uh, which is this attitude we're working to cultivate towards our practice, to stay in a good relationship with it, or a good relationship with absolutely anything. So we're gonna find this by stretching our side bodies and kind of embodying that sense of sweetness we have when we wake up and have a little cuddle and a stretch, and we're gonna work to find that. So enjoy, let's get started. For today's practice, you'll need two blocks, as always, just because they're super handy. And we're gonna get started in Sukhasana, or an easy cross-legged position. So you're welcome to sit up onto a block if you feel like your knees are super high. Otherwise, bring um, your shins to cross and your feet away from the groin so they're not up close and they're not too far away. Just, you know, easy cross-legged. So the feet underneath the knees. And then bring your hands by your hips and start to grow out of your waist. The rib cage lifts away from the hips and pelvis and you illuminate the spine. If this is quite comfortable and you can maintain the length in your spine, begin to take a little hinge forward and option to bring the hands out. Pull the heart through the arms. You should feel this in outer hips, lower back. And notice your breathing. Can, with your breath, you already start to embody that sense of sweetness. Maybe a bit of surrender and just letting it flow on its own. But it's sweet because you're giving it attention. Take one more breath. And out. Slowly walk the hands in. Now bring your right hand down beside you and start to reach up and over for a side body stretch. The first one of many. And reach through the top arm, almost straighten it rather than letting it hang. Don't let the head hang off of the neck. And then roll your bottom shoulder under. Spin the chest skyward and look under your left armpit. But anchor your left hip and notice that little tug from the hip into the waist, the ribs and shoulder. Take a big breath in. And then slowly we'll take a little circle. Take the hand down, forward feel that lower back stretch. And then come all the way. Other side, cross the opposite shin in front and wiggle the feet so they're under the knees um, and then anchor the sit bones, lift the lower back to upright the pelvis, and come to the fingertips and grow tall through the spine. And this may be plenty. You may already feel that sensation of opening in the hips. What if you want a little bit more, just lean forward gently Right, you're coaxing your body into the shape. Just a little bit at a time, little by little. That's the yoga practice in itself. We do things little by little, and eventually we find a new sort of normal, a new homeostasis. Deep breath in, find the length. And exhale, a little bit deeper. And then 
slowly walk the hands in. And you'll place the left hand down, reach your right arm up and over for that side body stretch. Reach through the top fingertips and then spin the chest up. Look under your right arm. Your left arm can bend a little bit if you need more. Anchor your right hip, so the outer hip you anchor down, sit bone down, so you're stretching from a place of being grounded. You're rooted in your practice, and from that we expand. And circle the hand down, and catch the lower back stretch all the way forward. Good. And then come on up. We're going to come to downward facing dog. Take the most direct route without delay without rushing, you simply allow yourself to arrive. Feel the whole handprint onto the mat. Anchor the inner palm. And then wrap the upper arms back and lift the pelvis away from the ribs to lengthen the spine. You can let the heels Melt down, thigh bones press back to find space in the front of the hips. Relax your neck. Begin by rippling forward. So tuck the chin, tuck the pelvis, and then ripple forward, plank. And then as you arrive, start to unravel, pull the heart forward, heels back. Good. Begin to spin the heels to the left. Good. And then bend your knees, bend your knees, sink your hips back and down. Feel the right side body stretch and then come all the way back, downward facing dog. It's like a little swivel plank wave. Inhale, ripple forward. So you round until the last minute and then you uncoil, come forward. Heels over to the right, bend the knees, sink the butt to the heels. Find a left side body stretch. Bend the knees deeply, come back downward facing dog. One more time each side. Ripple forward. Heels to the left. Bend the knees. Press the chest to the thigh. Side body stretch. Good. And down dog. One more time. Inhale, come forward, uncoil. Lengthen through crown of the head, heels over to the right. Bend the knees, left side body stretch. Look under your left arm. And then come all the way back downward dock. Rise onto your toes and then tiptoe all the way to the top of the mat. Good feet between the hands, breathe in. Take a halfway lift, pull the heart forward. You can use the blocks at any time. And then exhale, fold. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. And you can even like sway a little bit and feel the stretch across the back. Hands heavy, fingertips long. Chin is the last thing to arrive. Bring the feet together and then bring your hands to your heart. Coming back to that foundation of sweetness and devotion in everything that we do, cultivating that beautiful relationship with our practice, maintaining a sense of joy and gratitude. Inhale, interlace the hands, elbows wide. And then exhale, press the palms forward and stretch the upper back, look down. Inhale, lengthen, lift. The front of the body, press the tailbone forward, little back bend. And then interlace the hands behind the back, separate the feet, and fold belly to thighs. Good, reach the fist up and over. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, little hamstring stretch. And release the hands down, look forward, lengthen. And step your right foot back. Good, lunge, lower the right knee down. Sweep the arms all the way up. First, find length. Good, and then bring left elbow to the left hip. Wrap your forearm around the waist. Grab your right side body. And start to reach up and over to the left. 
and firm the left hip under. Squeeze your right glute, press your right hip forward. And then look underneath your right arm. Breathe into your hand. And out. Start to circle the hand down all the way. And then frame the foot half split straight in your left leg forward. This is where the blocks can be handy to bring the mat to you and keep the spine long. Inhale, find the length, draw the shoulder heads back. And then fold. And there's that surrender. You have to yield sometimes in a relationship. It's not the person who wins who keeps going, but you yield, you stop. Surrender and let go to maintain the sweetness. Bend into your left knee, move the blocks to the side. Good, frame the foot, lift the back knee. Pick up the front toes and step to plank. Good, lengthen heels through the crown of the hat. Take a big breath in. Always option to lower the knees. Again, inhale. And as slowly as you can, lower all the way down to your belly. Ooh, place the hands by the ribs. Point the toes. Inhale, lift. Cobra. And forehead to the mouth. Two more. Inhale, lift, cobra. Anchor the toes. And release. One more. You can press into the hands a little bit. You might come a little higher. Squeeze the elbows in. And release. And press up to your knees. Tuck the toes downward facing dog. And deep breath in. And full breath out. Center the left foot. Lift the right leg. Inhale. And draw your knee into your chest. Step through. Lower the back knee. Sweep the arms up. Good. Find the length in both sides of the body. And then right elbow to the right hip. Wrap your forearm around. Grab the left waist. Start to side bend over towards the right. Good. And then squeeze the left glute. Press your left hip forward. And breathe into your hand. Feel the expansion. Just by breathing into an area, we can find that little sense of a morning stretch. Look under the left arm. One more breath. Good. And then circle the hand all the way down. Half split. Ardha Hanuman. Ardha Hanumanasana. Flex the toes to the face. Pull the chest forward. And you can always keep that micro bend or use the blocks. All right. So props are a way of, you know, maintaining sweetness to not make things as difficult as they could be or trying not to make things more difficult than they need to be. One more breath and fold. Bend your right knee and then step top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen fingertips. And exhale, fold. And again, slow roll to stand. No rush, no delay. Bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, interlace hands, elbows wide. And exhale, deepen the belly into the spine as you round. Lift and lengthen. Little back bend. Morning stretch and then interlace the hands behind the back. Draw the shoulder heads together and fold belly to the thighs. Lengthen crown of the head away from the ears. And release your hands all the way down. Step your left foot back. Find a runner's lunge. Pull the heart forward. Right sit bone in line with the right knee. Left hand down. And then reach your right arm up for a twist. Another good way to get into the spine and the side body. Press your left shoulder blade under to the back of the heart. Reach through your right arm. 
One more breath. And circle the hand all the way back and down. Rise to high lunge or crescent lunge. The deepen into your right thigh. You can take a little bend into the back knee and you'll catch more of a hip flexor stretch. And so last, big breath in. Right, and then right elbow, right waist. Wrap the forearm around. Same thing we did, but a little bit more balance, which adds some challenge, but maintain the sweetness. Reach up and over, and maybe gaze underneath your left arm. Take a big breath and squeeze the left glute as you descend your right thigh. Good, and then circle the arm all the way around to the left, wide ankle forward fold. Separate leg stretch. So parallel the feet, bring the hands to the hips. Inhale, lift the elbows, lift the shoulder heads, and then exhale, fold, surrender. So let the legs do the work. Firm the feet towards each other, lift the kneecaps, and then shift the weight into the toes. Such a good warm up for the legs when you're not putting the hands on the mat because the legs work a little bit harder, but you're giving the upper body a little break. One more breath. And release the hands down, look up, inhale. Good. And then circle all the way back to the top of the mat. Step to plank. Find the space, lengthen. Good, now chaturanga, lower, just halfway. Maintain the chin in, and then press the feet back. Upward facing dog. Linger. Sometimes we have to linger to find the sweetness. Lift up and back. How many times can I say sweetness in this class? <sighs> Nailing it home. Lift the pelvis away from the ribs. Deep breath in and out. Center the right foot, lift the left leg high, breath in. And draw your knee to your nip, step through. Deep bend into the left knee, hard forward. Right hand down, left arm up, find the twist as you firm the left hip in, right thigh to ceiling. Right hip lifts, one more breath. Circle the hand all the way back, down, and let it take you up into your high lunge. And bend the left knee deeper, and then maybe a little bend into the back knee so you can press the pelvis forward. It's like a little hip thrust thingy. Yeah, stay here, and then Left elbow, left waist, wrap the forearm around and reach up and over, side body stretch. Press your right hip forward, look under your right arm. Breathe into your hand. And then slowly circle the hand down and around. Again, Prasarita Parottanasana, parallel the feet. And this time, interlace hands behind the back. Lift the shoulder heads away. Lengthen through the crown of the head. And fold. Good. Press through the outer edges of the feet. Draw the inner thighs together. Hug your sit bones together. Rather than letting your booty splay to the sky. One more breath. And release. Inhale, find length. And then walk all the way back to the top of the mat. Step forward, feet together. Relax your head. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Unraveling to stand. Good. We're going to move into a side body stretch. Bring the feet together. Reach your arms up. Grab your left forearm with your right hand. Lift and lengthen. Grow tall. Good. And then hips to the left. Bend over to the right. 
Whichever way you're going is great. We're gonna do both sides, so don't worry. Roll your bottom shoulder under and spin your chest up. Good, squeeze the glutes, press the hips forward. Good, one more breath. Good, do a little semicircle. Come all the way up. I think it's like a quarter circle. Right, and then grab your right forearm, grow tall. Then press the tailbone forward, legs firm. And then over to the left, hips to the right. So it's not just stretching. You can probably feel your core working a lot. So we strengthen as well. The obliques. And then press your left hip or your right hip forward. Sorry, spin the chest under. Roll your bottom shoulder under. One more breath. And then find that circle all the way up at the top of the mat. Bring your feet together to touch. Bend your knees. Reach your arms up, chair. Good. Sit lower. Right, and then bring the hands into the heart. You know where we're going. Take a big breath in. Sit low. And then left elbow, right thigh. Press the left shoulder blade into the back of the heart. Align the head and the tail. Spin your chest up. And then squeeze the hips together. Both knees in the same line. So the left knee likes to jut forward. Open the right chest. One more breath. And slowly come all the way back up. Inhale, lift, lift, lift. Good. And then over to the left, right elbow, left thigh. Good. Lengthen the left side of the waist. And then lift the lower belly off of your thighs. Hug the sit bones together and open your left chest. Breathe. Steady your breath. Be sweet with it. Be nice to yourself. Key tenant of yoga. Be nice. And slowly lift up. Inhale. And then exhale. Fold. Inhale, lengthen, heart forward, realign, place the hands, step the feet back, plank. Inhale, find length. Lower, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And out. We're gonna revisit that little plank wave. So slowly ripple forward, all the way, plank, travel. Spin the heels to the left. Then pull the heart forward from your bum in. And you can stay here or take the right foot behind your left knee. And just reach your right arm forward. This is a Parsvavashi side lying plank. Long line from right knee through the right fingertips rather than opening the chest. We look to the side. One more breath. Let's circle the hand down. Step your right foot forward. Place the back heel down. So now both heels are in the same line. Bend your right knee and pop your block up to the highest height adjacent to your right heel. Warrior two. Love a warrior two. Bend deeply into your right knee. Good. Open the arms to a T. Spin the left ribs away from your right inner knee. It's a twist. Sink low. Flip your right palm. The legs stay. Just reverse. Reach up and back. Left fingertips are light. Press the left thigh back. You deepen into the thigh. Feel side body stretch. And then straighten your right leg let come up we're gonna come into triangle hop the back foot in sharpen the angle of the foot deep breath and deep in the right hip crease reach your right arm forward and then hand to the block or you can bring it inside the foot if you don't have one take your right ribs spin them under but take your right shoulder away from the ear left arm to the ceiling and firm your left glute in and your right hip Wraps under, press the tailbone into your pelvis. Spin the chest up. Okay, 
Here we go. Stay sweet. Reach the top arm over. Head. It's a long line. Turn the belly on. Spin the chest up. Yeah. Right arm lifts. Frame the face with your arms. Spin the chest up for three. Press your big toes down for two. Come out of it the same way. Right hand down. Good, left arm up. Bend your right knee. Little relief. Take a deep breath in, inhale. Good, and then straighten your right leg. Turn the right toes in, left toes out. Bend deeply into your left knee, low skandasana. Good, so you can just come as low as you can. The right toes are welcome to lift, if you can see them there. Good. And just maybe a little stretch. You can take one arm in, one arm out. Just find something that feels nice. Or both hands for a little steadiness. Good. Inhale fully. Good. And then as you exhale, walk the hands all the way back to the top of the mat. Take the heart forward. Lower the back knee. Reach your right arm back. Finding the quad stretch. You can always bring your hand to a block as well or fingertips. Good. And then... Squeeze the heel to the bum, grab the pinky toe side, spin the chest up, squeeze the right shoulder blade into the heart. And squeeze the left glute, press the left hip forward. Deep breath in. And a full breath out, slowly release the foot. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee. Good. Gracefully step back to plank. Inhale. Lower chaturanga. Upward facing. And downward facing dog. Big breath in. And out. Ripple forward. High plank, elongate the spine, spin the heels over to the right, and firm the bum in, take the heart forward, and then take the left foot behind the right knee, and reach your left arm up and over, hey, maybe looking under the arm or to the side, Good, and continue to firm that right hip under. One more breath. Good, and then left hand down. Step your left foot forward. Place that back heel down. Warrior two, you can align that block adjacent to your right heel and open. Good, take a deep bend into your left knee. Gaze forward. Spin the right ribs away from your left inner knee. Go ahead and get comfortable in the fire. This is, the practice is maintaining the sweetness when it's not easy. Flip the left palm, reach the arm up and back, side body stretch, lower belly in. Straighten your left leg. Come on up. Bring the right foot in a tad. And firm your right hip in. Start to deepen your left hip crease. Reach your left arm forward. Good. And then bring that block underneath the shoulder. Good. And reach your right arm up. So squeeze that left hip under. Press the tailbone forward and lift the front of the hips, knit the front ribs together. Anchor the inner edge of your foot, lift the kneecaps. Good. Maintaining the stability in the lower body, reach your top arm forward, and again, start to peek the chest through the window of the arms. Good, stay, maybe left fingertips come up, and then left arm reaches, like you have a little platter of sweet treats. Spin the chest. One more. 
breath. You can tell it's not easy, but you maintain it. Left hand down, but right arm up, warrior two. Notice how good warrior two feels after that. And before it was challenging, right? Our per perspective changes. Straighten your left leg, turn the left toes in, right toes out, and get low. Get low, get low, get low. Good. Flex the left toes to the ceiling if that's available. And just find something that stretches those inner thighs. Big breath in, open the chest. Good. Hands down with, with support. Walk all the way back to the top of the mat. Deep lunge. Lower the right knee. You can bring your right hand onto a block. Reach your left arm back. Take that stretch. Firm the left knee in. Heel to bum. And then press that right hip forward, keeping the connection. Spin the chest. Pinky toe side so the shoulders open. Lower belly lifts off of the left thigh. One more breath. Slowly release. Let move the blocks. Place the hands, lift the back knee, step to plank. Deep breath in. And then lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Ooh, pop. Downward facing dog. Doing yoga for me is like going to the Cairo. Things just start to align and pop into place, even structurally. Deep breath in and, and out. And we're gonna step through onto our bums. You're welcome to use the blocks to come through or you just step onto your butt. The rise hands to the blocks. Step the right foot forward, left foot forward. You scoot, scoot, cross it, goes all the way through. Come on to your back. Good. So from here, set up like you're going to do bridge, but we're not. Place the feet, draw the shoulder heads down. Good. And then palms face up, fingertips long. Take a deep breath in and then slowly lift your chest. Little crunch. And we hold this. Reach to the fingertips. Maintain an open chest. Long neck, lift from the rib cage and the shoulder blades. Good. And now we're going to tap the left heel, so side body crunch. Come back to center, stay lifted. To the right, center, left, center, and right, center. Take the feet a centimeter away. I do centimeters now, I know. Deep breath in. Good, and then over to the left. Reach, hold, squeeze. Come back to center. Over to the right. Reach, hold, squeeze. Good, come back to center. Hold, lift one leg to tabletop. Other leg to tabletop. This is where I become a Pilates teacher. Interlace the hands behind the head. Lift higher. Good, take one hand behind the thighs, up the, towards the knee. Other hand, good, and then pull yourself as high as you can go. One hand to head, other hand to head, and here we go, pulse it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, stay high, 2, 1, and release. Good. Release the feet down, release the arms like it never happened. Shoulders down, deep breath in. Lift the hips and stretch it all out. Sometimes the sweetness appears when you just come out of it. And you realize, oh, it wasn't so bad. We'll get through it all. Nothing is permanent. Absolutely nothing. One more breath. And then slowly ripple down all the way. Hug your knees into your chest. Roll up and down the spine all the way over. Downward facing dog. 
And take a big breath in. And a full breath out. Here we go, ripple forward. High plank. Spin the heels to the left. Bend the knees like we did at the beginning. Step the right foot behind the left knee. This time, wild things. Spin the chest to the ceiling. Reach your right arm overhead. Squeeze the glutes. Lift the hips. Look at your hand. And then slowly lower the hips. Right hand down. Step your right foot forward. Lower the back knee. Hands to heart. Inhale. Lean forward. Twist. Left elbow, right thigh. Lift the chest to the thumbs so the thumbs come out of the armpit. Squeeze the right hip in. Good. And you can stay here. This can be plenty. Right? Know when you need to stay where you are to keep it sweet. Tuck the back toes and lift your knee. Press the thigh. Fully commit to where you are. Firm the right hip in. Lift the lower belly off of your right thigh. So there's a little lift and buoyancy under the pelvis, the legs and the core. And here we go, warrior two. Warrior two, maybe without hands. We open. Bend deeply into the right knee. Stretch your arms, inhale, and sink lower. Flip the right palm and reverse. Reach up and back, good. And then straighten your right leg and come forward, revisiting the triangle, hand to the block. Good. So take the arms to the teeth, deep in the right hip crease, reach your right arm forward. So you lengthen both sides of the body, hand to the block, spin the right ribs under, reach your left arm to the ceiling. This time, take the left hand, spin it back behind you for a half bind. Grab your right hip crease, whatever you can find. Pull those ribs in towards the frontal hips as they lift. And then take the gaze down. I'm just going to move this guy out of the way, a little rearranging. Good. Bend into your right knee. Place the block forward, half moon. Lift your chest, lift the leg, and you should be able to see this back leg behind you, Ooh. right? So it's not, you're not coming into a back bend yet. Pull the lower belly in, ribs in, good. And then maybe you can look towards the side. That could be enough, an option to come into Chapasana. So you bend your left knee, grab the foot, grab the ankle, good, and then squeeze your left Glute, press your left hip forward, spin the chest up. Maybe gaze up. Good. And then slowly, we come out of it the same way. What you can do one way, you must be able to reverse. Press through the left heel, reach your left arm to the ceiling. We come back, bend your right knee. Here we go. Deep breath in and straighten your right leg. Turn your right toes in, left toes out. Bend deeply into the Skandasana. You can bring your right toes to the ceiling. But an option to stay here. Again, this could be plenty. Yeah, or you can sit your right sit bone down, right hand to the left ankle and reach your left arm up and over. Spin the chest and you don't need to reach the toes, but you might be able to. And you can use that leverage to work to spin the chest up. One more breath, catch it. Good. And then slowly lift up. Walk the hands all the way forward. Reach your right arm to the ceiling. This time spin the toes to the right. Little low sort of reverse skandasana. Good. And then lift the hips back up. And take the right foot behind your left knee. Good. Wild thing. We've been here before. Lift the chest so you can stay. Or option two, come into wheel. Flipping over onto the hands. Good. And then firm the elbows in. Lift the belly. 
Lift the shoulder blades into the back of the heart and squeeze the glutes to lift your hips and open the front of the body. One more breath. And slowly lift your right hand, spin around the shoulder. I like to lower my hips to get there. A little squeak, it's, sometimes it's not very graceful and you just go through it. Inhale, sometimes only way out is through. You just keep going, chaturanga, upward facing, and downward facing dog. Big breath in and full breath out. Getting ready for the other side. Slowly ripple forward, high plank. Deep inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. And spin the heels to the right, bend your knees. Catch that left side body stretch. And then take your left foot behind your right knee. Wild thing, spin the chest up. Press the right shoulder blade into the back of the heart. Open the chest. Then lift the hips. One more breath. And then a little lowering of the hips. Lower the hand. Step the left foot outside of your hand. Lower your right knee. And then bring your hands to your heart. Inhale. Lean forward. Right elbow, left thigh. Lift the chest up to the thumbs. And then find space in the left front of the hip. Let it lift. Rather than sort of splaying the sit bone, you actually pull the left sit bone towards your left knee to tighten the hamstring. Take a big breath in. And then tuck the toes. Lift the back knee. Commit to where you are. Wherever you can embody that sense of devotion. And maybe that means just offering up this to something beyond yourself. Warrior two. Slowly press the back heel down. Get into that left thigh. Deep bend. I'm gonna bring the block there while it's handy. While I'm low. And then flip the left palm to the ceiling. Reverse warrior. Deep bend into the left knee. Straighten your left leg. Come all the way back up. And, and then angle those right toes in. Shorten the distance. Reach your left arm forward. And hand to the block under the shoulder. It makes your arm longer. Left hip tucks and reach your right arm up. First spin the chest. Take the left shoulder away from the ear down the back, and then take your right hand behind you for a half bind. Then draw your right shoulder open and then pull the contents of the canoe in so the outer bodies wrap forward. Draw the lower belly in. And, and then take the gaze down. We move into half moon. Take the left foot or the left hand forward under the shoulder, lift your right leg. Maybe work to spin the chest towards the side. If you feel quite comfortable here, you'll just start to bend your right knee and find the ankle with the hand and press your left thigh back. Squeeze your right glute and press your right hip forward to open the chest. One more breath. That bottom foot is probably working like crazy. Good. And then straighten your right leg. Reach your right arm high. Reversing the movement. And step back. Warrior two. Deep breath in. And out. Straighten your left leg. Turn your left toes in. Right toes out. And go low. Low skandasana. Lower the hips. Maybe you stay or maybe you lower it all the way. Take your left hand to your right ankle and then reach your right arm up and over and wherever you are is perfect. Spin the chest up to the ceiling. And then slowly lift all the way back up. 
Good, and then walk all the way to the top of the mat. Reach your left arm up, little twist. Skin, or reverse skandasana, lower the hips, reach your left arm back. And then lift up. We're gonna move into that wild thing or wheel. So just step your left foot behind your right knee. Lift the chest, lift the hips. You can stay or start to reach your left arm back. Find the floor, the mat, whatever it is. And then align the feet so they're parallel. Relax the back of the neck. Get into your legs. Lift the tailbone up into the pelvis. Squeeze the arms like you're doing a handstand. Press away. And then slowly lower the hips, come around the shoulder. Plank, final flow, inhale. Lower, chaturanga. And the upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And full breath out. Slowly come forward into your high plank. Last little unravel. And as slowly as you can, come all the way down. Starting in Cobra, we're just going to do a couple belly back bends. So we did the wheels, um, but this is a really nice one if the wheel wasn't like accessible for you. Or just generally wanting to create some more heat. Hug the elbows in. Lift the chest, lift your legs, and then reach the hands back. Squeeze the palms together. Shalabhasana. Imagine squeezing the block between the inner thighs. Take a big breath in. Neck is long. Reach through the toes. And slowly release. Bring your cheek to the mat and relax your arms. Let everything melt. And then bring the hands back by the ribs. One more bow. Lift the chest. Lift your legs. Reach the arms back. Interlace. Lift the chest. Good. So you can stay here. Or squeeze the heels into the bum. Grab your ankles, flex the toes, put the feet onto the ceiling. You can kick back in, lift the chest, and you know, take any bow that feels good. If you want to stay on the belly and the rib cage, go for it. No prescription today. One more breath into your chest so you avoid that rocking back and forth. And then slowly release left cheek to the mat. Soften. Big toes together, heels apart. And from here, flip onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Apanasana, just let the knees fall wide. Big breath in and out. And then hop your knees together and you're gonna drop your knees over towards the right and press your left shoulder down. So just a nice recline twist. This is the end of the practice is such a nice time to recultivate our sense of devotion and gratitude and sort of reclaim our relationship with our practice because sometimes the practice can really test us and be really confronting and challenging and it's absolutely necessary. 
but I find that this winding down is sort of a way of remembering how sweet it is to breathe and stretch and you really fall in love with the practice again right at the end all the way to that sweet savasana come back to center and then over to the left drop the knees melt your right chest down Come back to center, Look your knees in, and we'll come up to seated. Just to end with a nice little hip opener. And so we started in Sukhasana, and now we're gonna move it into double pigeon. And you can stay with Sukhasana. You might just feel a little bit deeper. What you're gonna do is you're gonna align your right knee with your right hip. You'll see that this is a straight line, and my right shin runs parallel with the edge of the mat, so I'm creating a right angle. Take your left ankle on top of your right knee. Yeah, and this may be lifted. If it's really high, this is where you just bring it in front, and then you're in that Sukhasana shape. Yeah, and you can use the block underneath your knee. I'm gonna use one for my forehead, just out in front. And we've done a little bit of hip opening, so you can might have a little bit more space here. Flex the toes. When you do that, it presses the shin bone in the tibia into the knee and then we're able to like stabilize so the knees aren't twisting at all. Fingertips grow tall and then just start to come forward. Pull the spine nice and long. And see if you can surrender and yield. One of my favorite quotes is, accept each moment as if you had chosen it. One of my absolute favorites. How much sweeter would your life be? How much smoother and easeful would it be if you could accept every moment as if that was your plan? No resistance. Slowly come all the way up. Good. And then we'll unravel the legs. Other side. So you're going to take your left knee in line with your left hip. So it's not out to the side, this angle here, right in front of you. That's why they call this square pose. We're making a little right angle like a square. Bring the right ankle on top of your left knee. Or you bring it in front of. And again, you can use the block under the forehead if you like. Just depends how you're feeling. These are always just suggestions, but you always tailor the practice to exactly what you need. Big breath in, long spine. Hug the sit bones together. You might need to stick your bum out a little bit if you're super tight and rounding, but if you're really flexy, you know who you are. Hug the sit bones together. Walk the hands in and 
We're going to do Paschimottanasana. Legs together. Come to your fingertips. Lift your lower back. Hug the sit bones together. And then start to hinge forward. Maintain the length in the spine. Pull the sternum through the arms. Good. And then fold. You're welcome to use the block or a strap. Yeah around the feet to make it more accessible or more challenging. You might have little spaghetti arms and you can reach easily. Nice, right, drape the rib cage down the thighs, relax the back of the neck. Folding in. Acknowledging your efforts. Because it is, it does take effort. It's work to maintain sweetness in any relationship. Always surrendering, yielding, recalibrating, and accepting what it is for what it is. Slowly come all the way up. We'll come into Shavasana. Sweet, sweet Savasana. Bring the blocks underneath the thighs to support the hamstrings. Draw the tailbone away from your shoulders and towards the knees. And then open the chest and fully embrace whatever you're feeling. Can you greet whatever you're feeling with kindness, love, the way a best friend would? Shavasana. Stay here, soaking it up for as long as you can. Nice, wiggle your fingers, toes, and take that sweet stretch like you're just starting fresh. And then hook your knees into your chest. Roll to the side. Come on up. And gather the hands at your heart and take a big breath in and end out. Thumbs to the forehead, deep bow to your practice. Namaste.